The four lawn tractors you see here range in price from $1,100 for this Troy built model to $2,200 for the John Deere. Deciding how much to spend depends on your yard as much as the size of your checkbook. I'll show you a few features to look for whether you're in the market for your first lawn tractor or you're ready for a replacement. But first, I want to explain the difference between a lawn tractor and a garden tractor. Lawn tractors are designed to cut grass and pull an accessory garden cart or fertilizer spreader. They're the best choice for homeowners with lawns from a half to three acres. Plus, some lawn tractors can operate optional winter attachments like a snow plow blade or snow thrower, and frankly, that's all most people need. Garden tractors, on the other hand, are heavy-duty machines with larger water-cooled engines and stronger transmissions. They accept larger mowing decks and pro-grade accessories like power tillers, leaf vacuums, large snow blowers, or more serious snow plows. Shopping for a lawn tractor always starts with a full assessment of your yard size and configuration, how much time you want to spend mowing, and how much storage space you have. Let's talk about mower deck sizes first. The mower decks on these lawn tractors range in size from 36 to 48 inches and represent what you'll find with most lawn tractors priced under $2,500. The wider the mower deck, the faster you'll get the lawn mowed. But there is a catch. If you have a gated yard or narrow spaces between retaining walls or are short on storage space, a smaller deck just might make more sense for you. Now let's talk gas tanks. Most mowers have a translucent gas tank, so you have to lift the hood to check the level. The tanks on these models range from 1.3 gallons to 3 gallons. Now, small tanks aren't a problem if you're mowing a half acre yard or less, but if you have a larger lot, you'll want a machine with a larger tank or gauge you can check while you're driving. Otherwise, you'll run the risk of running out of gas far from your house or shed. If you have a small yard, a basic seat like this will be just fine. But if you're mowing more than a half acre or have a real lumpy lawn, trust me, you'll want a machine with a more comfortable seat and better suspension. Some tractors have dual pedals that allow you to alternate between forward or reverse without moving a gear shift. Just rock the pedal forward or backward. The more you push, the faster you go. The dual pedal feature is available on both continuously variable or CVT transmissions and hydrostatic style transmissions. CVT transmissions are belt driven while hydrostatic transmissions use fluid pressure to drive the wheels. However, less expensive tractors have a single pedal and a forward reverse shift lever. If you have an open yard with long cutting runs that don't require a lot of forward reverse moves, this system will work just fine. One underrated lawn tractor feature is the bumper. Most tractors don't come with one, but do offer it as an option. If you have a lot of trees in your yard, it's well worth the money to invest with one if you can. A single collision can damage the hood assembly, which will cost you several hundred dollars to replace. So if you're shopping for a lawn tractor, my best advice is to go to a few dealers. They'll really know the products and be able to answer all your questions and help you select the best mower for your needs. Best of all, you'll be able to take them all out in the parking lot for test drives so you'll know exactly how they feel and operate.